Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 16th through September 30th, uh, 2019. Welcome back subscribers and welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, real quick, I apologize for the terrible sound in my last set of videos. So sorry for that. It won't be an issue again. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, the link is below. All the information is there. You'll book directly through my website. And for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, which I'm very, very grateful for. Uh, you'll see the link below, all the information, and uh, you'll also see a great 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, and the link is for Instant Go as well if you just have a single question. So that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for September 16th through the 30th, 2019. I've already fully shuffled, so we are just going to get straight into it. Ooh. Okay, interesting Scorpio. So we're starting out the first two cards that came out. I've got six of swords and seven of swords. What is going on with your thinking? I feel like there's something going on with the mind space with thoughts, words, communication, how you speak of yourself, how you speak of others is kind of being highlighted here. I do feel like the seven of swords is asking that you recognize this and like leave it behind and the six of swords does show movement so this can be movement away but they're almost like these two are like clashing with one another like you're trying to move on from a situation but there's still like stuck energy with the mind or with the thinking or with something around that um, and I do have the three of pentacles here I think this has come out in your last couple readings so um, this really could have to do with a work situation or a team, a team situation, a collaboration. Um, so you could have somebody on your team or in your organization or your work that there's not a lot of honesty happening. I don't want to say that, but this is what the cards are showing. Someone is not being truthful about something here. There's like hidden information, lack of information, lack of communication, miscommunication. So what is that about? Three of Pentacles for me can represent too like a third party situation. So for those of you who are in a romantic situation or a relationship, there might be some third party situation going on here that either you're not aware of or your partner's not aware of or... Hmm. And that's really what's asking you to be honest with your feelings and honest about the situation. So maybe you do know of it, but you haven't wanted to accept it or face it yet. Let me see what else I can get here. Okay, so yeah, you're wanting to make a decision about something with the two of wands here. This is really looking at the situation and realizing like it's time to choose. So if you've been in like a work situation or a romantic situation that has been challenging or has been a struggle, I do feel like with these swords, it's asking you to really be honest with your thoughts about that, like really tune in and see because it's almost like there's something that you're not wanting to see. There's something that you're blindfolded to. And this card is always from within. So it's something that you're not allowing yourself to see or yourself to deal with. Um, it can also be like very victim mentality or energy. Uh, so you could feel this is happening, you know, to you. Um, somebody is doing something to you like intentionally or in this relationship. Um, 
A good thing to always remember is life is happening for you, not to you. So you are not a victim. It's only up to you to remove the blindfold here and see the situation as it is. Because I do feel there's details that you're not allowing yourself to see. This is tricky energy, Scorpio. I really feel, yeah, there's something like just uneasy that I'm sensing with you guys. So again, this will be different for each of you because it is a general reading. This can be within a romantic relationship. I do feel that strongly for a lot of you. Um, yeah, just some sneakiness, some miscommunication, lack of communication could possibly be third party. Um, or this can be about a work environment, okay? Somebody getting away with something, someone not being honest with you, maybe about the money or the pay. Because the details are showing up here as well, like not to overlook the details. Man, Scorpio, this is heavy. Next up, Moon. Again, hidden emotions, not tapping into some truth that's deep down under. It's like the fears and the anxieties are on the surface here. Uh, for some of you, you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, there's a lot of air energy out here. So um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Yeah, I'm feeling again with this moon card, there's something dishonest going on within a very close relationship to you. I hate to be the one to bring that information through. Again, this is not going to resonate with all of you. Um, but the moon can also represent like a third party situation. So it's, it's showing up a couple times here um, in the reading. And there's hurt, there's chaos, there's worry, there's confusion. So I don't know if with, you know, this moon, super new moon coming up in Libra that you're going to get clarity around this situation um, because either you're not aware of it or you're aware of it, but you haven't wanted to face it yet. I do feel this is like a, a more romantic relationship. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Let me just see if I can get any clarity Okay, maybe it's not romantic. This can really have to do with a money situation because I asked to clarify what does this all mean? What is being avoided? And I've got two of pentacles, four of pentacles, and four of swords. So there's something you're not wanting to deal with, Scorpio. It's showing up very, very clear here with the six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords, three of swords, four of swords. There is some major avoidance going on with something within you. So it can be about a situation, it can be about a specific person, it can be work-related, family-related, romance-related, but it's almost like you tried to just put it to rest, pulled back your energy, but it's still, you're not clear, there's still some unstable energy here. I would say, you know, really look at this situation and whether or not holding on to it, not dealing with it, if that is like a positive thing for you. Because I feel like it's way slowing you down with where you're moving to. Like you've gone into like protective mode, just pulling back instead of maybe really facing it and dealing with it. I don't know if you have words that you need to speak or words that you want to get out. Um... Because there is progression here with the six, seven, and eight of swords. So it's like you're moving, like you want to move on, but you have to be honest with yourself and really see things as they are. Like maybe you're not allowing yourself to see a situation for like exactly what it is. There could be some past karma that you're cleaning up. Um, but if this has to do with a love situation, 
I do feel it's something you have to clear within yourself. So if you are looking like outside to the other person, that's where you're losing your power. This is a lesson and something within you that you really have to face and deal with. And once that happens, okay, let me see. Once you really face that, what is on the other side? Once you really truly. Yeah, it's like the lesson comes through. I've got the hermit card. That fiery, unstable energy will go away and you will come back here into your stable, secure place, Scorpio. So there is a lesson here that needs to be worked out within you. It's a spiritual lesson. So this can be karmic. This could be from this lifetime or a past lifetime. It could run quite deep. So... Yeah, there's just something here, but you're you're working to let go of whatever has been causing this feeling in you. Because Scorpios are typically quite grounded, but I, I'm just, I'm feeling a little like ungrounded energy, a little bit um, crazy energy. So you've got to face this, whatever it is, okay? Because once you do, the lesson will come in, the sun will come up, and look, you will be back here in your stable, like, content, happy place. Which is where you want to be. Where we all want to be, right? Okay. Let me see if there's any last message for you. Yeah, there it is. Again, again, Scorpio, spiritual growth. There is a spiritual lesson here for you. There's a spiritual lesson here for you. The hermit is also showing you this, okay? So try to let go of the mind energy and tune more into soul and your higher self because that's where the guidance is going to come. I feel like if you stay in your mind, you're going to be trapped in this sort of energy, almost like you're going in circles and not able to let a situation go. Could be, again, a love situation, a work situation, a money situation. But you've got to look at how free the character is on this card, like unbound, right? Not stuck. Like right now, I just feel stuck energy. So I'm hoping you can you know, use this to help clear or move forward. Use the power of this super new moon on the 28th. It's the final super new moon of uh, 2019. So it's the third one of three in a row. So lots of power in cleaning and clearing and letting things go, Scorpio. You're totally supported. So I hope that resonates. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for your comments on the video. I love reading all the comments. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the link is below. You'll just book directly through the website. And again, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all over the place, which is a really beautiful thing. So take advantage. I have a 15% discount for you for first time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. Okay. So that's it for now, Scorpio. I'm wishing you all the best. Have a great rest of September. I will see you back here for the first half of October readings. Take care.